So now that we've gotten a proper look at SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated, I've recently been thinking about that big old list of stuff we got from THQ Nordic well over a year ago, like nearly two years ago now, of all the different IPs and all the different games they were possibly going to be bringing to us. And I thought, now that we're all quite excited for uh, Rehydrated, I wanted to talk a little bit about those games and what we will possibly be getting next after Rehydrated. Hello everybody, it's me, Chester. How you doing? It's it's me, your boy, Chester, back at it again. It's... It's 12 uh, past 12 in the morning. Hello. Welcome. A wonderful time to be making videos. So I've had... I've just been thinking about all this type of stuff recently and you know, my you know, usual long walks contemplating these types of things because you know, I've been getting all this cool stuff about rehydrated and you know... We're, all this type of information, it's so cool and so exciting, but I did want to talk about that big list of games we got and some of the stuff I'm really interested in and the possibility of future games. I do want to preference this though, we do not know any of this type of stuff, I'm just basing this off of my expectations of what is the most kind of sensible options as far as I can tell what they would most likely pursue after Battle Kingdom Bottom and stuff like that. So this isn't anything definitive, I don't know anything, this is just me basing it off of the successfulness of the shows and the games and where THQ Nordic might be going next type of thing. And also the type of stuff I would like to see. And the most important thing about all of this though is all of this, literally all of this, this entire list of games we got, it all depends on the financial success of Rehydrated, completely in every way, shape and form. So we've been begging Nickelodeon for years for this. We, these companies do not listen to us often. And so this is a massive win for us to be getting this for, after literally years of emails and begging and all this type of stuff. This is our opportunity here to tell these companies what we like and what we want and what we want to see more of. And that all comes down to Rehydrated. Which is why I really, really hope it's good so I can recommend to everyone to go and buy it. To buy two versions of it. To buy it on the Switch. To buy it on the PlayStation. To buy it on PC. I really want it to be really good so I can tell you all to do that so that we can possibly get future stuff. We can get different games. We can get new games. We can get more uh, HD remake type games. More of that type of stuff. It all depends on how good this game is. Anyway, let's jump into my main games I'm interested in and the possibility of all that type of stuff. So number one is Danny Phantom. I have never watched a single episode of Danny Phantom. My entire knowledge of the character and the world all comes from the Nicktoons games and specifically Nicktoons Globs of Doom because that's the one I played the most of. But I'm really interested in his character and I like the idea of the show and I think it could be really cool. And the, what I know about the show could lend really well to some really cool gameplay options and gameplay ideas. It could almost be like a, I know this will be a bit weird for a lot of people watching, but a Persona 5-esque type of thing where you live out your day-to-day -day life as, you know, Danny type of thing. And then at night you go into the Phantom World or whatever it's called where you're the ghost character and all that type of stuff. It could be really cool structuring something like that, which isn't always just, you know, a 3D platform. We could do something else. It could almost be like an on-rails shooter game. Because as far as I know, we've never actually gotten a standalone Danny Phantom game. So that could be really interesting, and I'd be really interested in that. Here's the thing though, is because it got cancelled so long ago, and it never had a game that they could build upon, I think the likelihood of a Danny Phantom game is next to nil. I think what will be more likely is Nicktoons remakes or future Nicktoons games. I think that's the only like plausible situation for any of that happening, but I would like to see a solo game. Then the next one is something I would love to see, which is an Invader Zim 3D platformer based on the new movie. Yeah, again, I never watched Invader Zim, but the new movie, mwah, mwah, it was so good. I loved every minute of it. I thought it was so good, and I would love a 3D platformer of that, where you're going through all these different worlds, and the art style is just fantastic. I loved it, and I would love to see more of it. Now, this for the third one, uh, anyone who watches this channel will know, why I'm going to talk about this because I'm incredibly biased and it's the only thing that would ever really fulfill my life but more Jimmy Neutron because Jimmy Neutron is the best Nickelodeon show ever 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 all right get SpongeBob out of there get Danny Phantom out of there Timmy Turner out of there 
None of them matter. They're all, they're all insignificant in comparison to Jimmy Neutron. The best Nicolau Dean show. But I would love to see a uh, remake of Attack of the Twonkies. Realistically, that is the only one that could ever possibly get any type of remake or anything like that because all the other ones are tie-ins to movies and that type of stuff, except for a few little ones. I would honestly love, love to see a HD remake of Jimmy Neutron versus Jimmy Negatron. I loved that game. I'm sure no one else loves it. I'm sure it's awful, but I loved that game. And I played that so often. I got so good at it, I could like beat it in like singular goes. I knew exactly where everything was. I loved it. Yeah, again, very unlikely of happening. Yeah, again, because Jimmy Neutron, he doesn't have that presence in the current cartoon world anymore because of being cancelled and all that type of stuff. He doesn't have that brand recognition anymore. So I think the only chances we'll ever get of him is, yeah, again, a Nicktoons game or anything like that, or a rare replay style game, which is what I think a lot of this type of stuff will be in, which is a like a Nickelodeon remake, Nickelodeon uh, rewatch type of box set type of thing of all these old games brought back to HD, not like rebuilt in the same way that Rehydrated was, but something similar to that rare replay type of thing. I think that's most likely what we're going to get, and it'll probably be Attack of the Tonkies, because that's really the only good game. Another one is Rocket Power. Now, I've only started uh, watching Rocket Power recently. Yes, I know, I am a fake Nickelodeon fan. I haven't watched that many of them. I've watched a fair few, though. Uh, but I would love a Rocket Power-style game. I think Rocket Power is a really underrated and really good show. It really has that kind of interesting and fun vibe to it and quite laid back and I really like it and I think it's been unrepresented in the game world yet again I think it is next to impossible that we will ever get one outside of a Nicktoons Unite style type of thing but I would love to see even just like a mobile game or something on the Switch type of thing I would love to see that okay so now we're getting into basically the three slash two one of them still isn't going to happen but the two that I think are absolutely going to happen. So one that I think is possibly down the line going to happen because it's coming back is Rugrats games. Specifically a uh, game similar to Rugrats Royal Ransom which I think I am one of the only people who really liked. I enjoyed it. Um, it's very simple, very easy but I mean I enjoyed it. It's Rugrats. <laughs> I think stuff like that is going to be quite popular as the show comes back. It all depends on how popular the show is and yet again if people buy uh, Spongebob uh, rehydrated, all that type of thing. But I honestly think after the SpongeBob games, that is going to be the most likely one in the list of stuff they would actually remake and bring back and do new stuff of. And then, of course, number one is, of course, more SpongeBob stuff because they've got a bit of a golden goose on their hands of all that type of stuff. Like, on a business standpoint, it makes the most sense as one to continue doing because look, at the Spongebob Rehired trailer. It's the most popular thing, I think, on the THQ Nordic website. And what they'll probably do next is a HD remake of Lights, Camera, Pants. That's my presumption. They're not going to do the movie game because they're not going to do a game that's based, that's tied in with a movie because there's so much stigma about that type of stuff. Even if it is a good game, they're not going to do it. It's just not going to happen. The two things that they're going to do, most likely, are a tie-in with a new movie type of thing. Uh, which they might not have time for, but that's something they may do. And then Lights, Camera, Pants, using the same models and engine as Rehydrated, just repurposed to redo that old party game. It's a quick buck, it's easy, it keeps that nostalgia factor and all that type of stuff, and it'll probably still be a good game, and we'll all probably buy it. And THQ Nordic knows that. So that's kind of the one I think is most likely going to happen. After this SpongeBob game, if it's successful, they'll knock us out with another SpongeBob game, and then they'll probably move on to some of those other... Uh, brands and type of stuff, but there is one more that I would really love to see that probably won't happen and I don't really know why I want to see it because I've never watched the show and I've never played any of the games but I would like to see another TAC game because I've seen some gameplay stuff and I've given the first like level a go and I really enjoyed the gameplay type of thing of it and I would love to see that in HD. So yeah, that is, those are my thoughts, those are my ideas. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought and what is one specific franchise uh, series, anything like that, that you would love to see a game made for. And you're not allowed to say Spongebob or any game in the Spongebob series or anything like that. It has to be one of the other ones from the list. So let me know in the uh, description down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.